All right, I'm here to share with you a wig wearing tip and a warning. If you wear short wigs or very low density wigs, dark wigs, cut your tags out of the wig. If you don't do that, you run the risk of the tag poking through the wefts. And you don't think about that because you're not looking at the back of your head. So I have worn this wig a number of times and I didn't cut the tags out. I didn't follow my own advice. And I was just wearing this and I looked in the mirror and I could see the tag sticking out. And I cut, this wig had four tags in it and I missed this one. So now I've got to cut that out. So I just want to warn you, if you know you're keeping the wig, cut the tags out, prevent yourself from some embarrassment or heartache. If that um, tab, the label starts poking through the back of the wig, because you're not going to know it, you're not going to feel it. And most of us don't study the back of our wigs that much. Maybe we do a quick cursory look and then we walk away and you might not catch that tag sticking out. If you sometimes resell your wigs, let's say you wear a wig a few times and you decide you don't really love it, so you go to sell it on the secondary market, just keep the tags. If you keep the box, just throw the tags in the box. If you do what I do, which is keep all of my wigs in Ziploc baggies, I basically do this. I throw the tags inside the baggie and I keep them in a baggie, then just throw the labels that you just cut out right inside the bag with your wig, and then you're all set and you'll have everything you need if you do decide to sell the piece. The wig I'm wearing is Ellen Villa Relax in the color Metallic Blonde Rooted. Love, love, love this wig. I have a review. I have a styling video where I show you all the fun different ways you can style this one. I often forget to cut those tags out of my wig, so that's why I want to make this video as a reminder to me and as a warning to you. Thanks for watching.